Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am the Tesla Prince. Today we're going to do a quick update on the CTEC uh, to CCS, uh, sorry, CTEC, CCS to Tesla adapter. And just to get a quick uh, up-to-date set of facts on the current state of what's going on with this adapter. So I finally uh, nagged Tesla uh, on Friday and I actually was able to get an official response from Tesla and it's very interesting uh, it took me 30 minutes plus getting passed around to different apartment uh, departments and nobody knew what was going on and it's interesting because this is my third call on an open case that I had at Tesla and a week ago when I spoke to support when I called them back after not hearing a response from my original call they assured me it had been escalated to senior support agent and that I would be getting a call back but I did not so anyway, here I am on the third call, 30 minutes into the call. Finally, I was passed around to someone who uh, started looking into it. And, um, you know, I, I basically said, I'm trying to find out what the reason, was this blocked on purpose? Was it blocked by accident? Any information like that. And originally this person told me that, um, their support department at Tesla doesn't have any real communication with engineering. So typically things like this, they don't necessarily get answers or anything like that. They just kind of get uh, mobile technicians to come to your house and do different things and they use the tools they have, but they never talk to engineering. That's what this person said. And so this person actually said, most likely you'll never find out the real reason. However, so I said, okay, that's, that's what I'm going to post online. Have all these hundreds of owners that have this adapter, they're going to hear like no official answer and no one's ever going to know and whatever. And so then uh, she called me back uh, about 10, 15 minutes later and found a whole bunch of, of support cases that had been opened about this topic. And finally, the official answer from Tesla was uh, uh, Tesla blocked the adapter on purpose. Um, and the reason was they said it was due to a safety concern regarding this uh, adapter from CTEC. And the safety concern that they claimed was that the adapter can be unplugged while it's charging. Now, I asked some details about that because uh, from my testing, the adapter, when you plug it into the Tesla end, it does latch. So it does have a lock. You cannot pull it out, just like the Chatmo adapter. What I don't know is the other end that plugs into the CCS side. There is a clip that, that kind of locks it on. But what would happen if you press the clip open and pulled it out while it's charging? I mean, that is a pretty ridiculous use case, to be honest. But what would happen? And I've actually passed this information on to CTEC. Uh, but again, that support article didn't specifically say anything other than safety concern. Um, and so, it's very interesting because, and let's just take a look at this adapter. So I have it here. And so for the sake of the video, you can see there, and if I show sort of the top here where the uh, latch comes into this section here, right? You plug from the charging station into this and there's that clip that clips into here. So you would have to press down on the clip, pull really hard off while it's charging, and I suppose maybe that could work, but even then I'm not sure that that would continue to charge. It's possible this adapter could detect that you've unplugged it and kill the charge, or that the charging station would kill the charge, it's possible. Anyway, I don't know, because Tesla doesn't have any other details, and they said we'll never have any more details than that. So, um, that's the official answer from Tesla. Safety concern related to the adapter not locking or something. Okay, so done on purpose. So what are the facts that we know today about the CTEC adapter? I'm gonna go over the facts, because this, everything, once you hear all these points, everything isn't consistent, which is interesting. So fact number one, Model 3 and Model Y are blocked from using this adapter on purpose, uh, at least starting Tesla firmware 2021.24.3, from that point on. Could be 
or 2021.24.1 and on. I don't know because I never had that one, but definitely as of dot three and on, the Tesla firmware specifically blocks the CTEC adapter. Um, and you will know that it's Tesla blocking it because you'll get a specific error on the Tesla side that says incompatible adapter, please change charging equipment. If you get other errors, then it's not Tesla blocking it. It's some other problem. Um, so that's fact number one. It was done on purpose. Uh, Tesla never communicated this to any owners, no public thing on their website, nothing like that, and they probably won't, never will. Okay, point, fact number two. This is interesting. Tesla Model S and Model X are not blocked from using this adapter. Okay, they're not blocked. So if this was a safety issue, and it was done on purpose, you would expect that it would block Model 3, Model Y, Model S, Model X, but no, that's not the case. So Model S and X continue to work. Those owners have confirmed, uh, and SeaTech themselves have confirmed, it still charges. However, now I can't confirm this one, but people have posted on forums that as of the new firmware, Model S and X can no longer charge faster than 50 kilowatts. So something very strange there. If it was a safety issue, you'd expect it to be across the board. And you wouldn't expect them just to reduce the charging rate from like 70 or 80 kilowatts down to 50. But because those models are able to charge at a higher rate with this adapter. But uh, anyway, it looks like the Tesla firmware has has limited that max charge rate. So that's fact number two. Model S and X can still charge at a reduced rate. Fact number three, CTEC is working on a firmware fix, okay? It's possible, no promises, it's possible there could be a fix this week as of September 13th, which is tomorrow. It's possible a fix could be coming out sometime this week. Um, so those are the facts that we know today, CTEC's aware now of what's going on here. Um, Tesla did this on purpose, and that is the current update. Everything that we know based on the facts. And hope that helps you guys out. When I have more information, I will be sure to give you an update.